It's fair to say that China's Edward Gaming and Korea's SK Telecom T1 were the two favorites coming into the mid-season Invitational, and so it's no surprise that they're facing off in the finals. And while both teams have had great success in their respective regions and in the MSI, they've done so through very different methods, and the style matchups in this game are definitely worth taking a look at. Let's dive in. Coming in at the top lane is none other than SKT's Marin and EDG's Koro. This entire tournament has been a display of incredible performances coming out of the top lane, revolving largely around three champions, Hecarim, Nar, and Maokai. Out of the three, Nar is likely to be the most contested pick in the finals because he's probably not a ban-worthy champion. Meanwhile, Hecarim and Maokai, being such threats for both teams, could easily see bans throughout the series. Koro has shown the most strength outside of the typical top lane trio, pulling out the Irelia in the semi-finals against AHQ and putting up huge numbers, going 12-0-7. Koro has also netted a huge KDA of a 7.8 on Hecarim, so don't expect SKT to leave that open. On SKT's side, Marin has shown the majority of his strength within the trio, especially on Maokai, forcing three bans in the semi-finals against Fnatic and sporting a KDA of 5.0. In the jungle for SKT is Bengi, and for EDG we find Clearlove. EDG's Clearlove is the quintessential carry jungler. He holds mastery over all of the current meta junglers with an excellent showing on Rek'Sai, Sejuani, and Gragas, and an impressive KDA of 14.6. He even pulled out an unexpected Nautilus in the semi-finals against AHQ. On SKT's front, they have shown a huge priority to early picking Rek'Sai for Bengi. So far, he sports a 5.4 KDA on Rek'Sai, it being his most played champion by far at 6 games. If Bengi doesn't get Rek'Sai, expect him to pull out the Nunu and look to aggressively control EDG's jungle. Coming in at support are Wolf for SKT and Mako for EDG. Throughout the entirety of MSI, both players have shown an affinity for Thresh, especially Mako having played him in 7 out of EDG's total 8 games. If SKT early picks Thresh and denies the pick from Mako, we're not sure what he's gonna pull out instead. On the other hand, while Wolf has shown a preference for Thresh, his most played support is actually Alistar at 5 of SKT's 10 games played with a KDA of 3.3. Look for Wolf to pick Alistar should EDG pick Thresh early in the draft. At AD carry, we find SKT's Bang and none other than Death for EDG. Both Bang and Def are fantastic Callista players, meaning it's likely a ban throughout the series. The entire tournament has shown a huge priority on Urgot followed by Sivir, so expect those two champions to play the largest role in the draft for AD carries. Deft has been known to put on a clinic as Jinx in the LPL with an undefeated 6-0 record. Could EDG be saving some of his picks for the finals? We'll have to see. On the other hand, Bank's performance on Sivir thus far this tournament has been very lackluster, resulting in both of SKT's losses. He's also pulled out Lucian twice this tournament and played extremely well on it, netting him a KDA of 4.8 and the only pentakill so far in the tournament. And last, but certainly not least, is the mid lane. Here we find the pairing of Isihun and Faker for SKT and Pawn for EDG. The most likely mid lane contested pick for the finals has to be Cassiopeia. Both Faker and Pawn have put up impressive performances on this mid lane hyper carry. While Pawn's performance on Cassiopeia has been fantastic, his best hero of the event has most certainly been Twisted Fate, racking up an insane KDA of 21 across the two games he played. Seeing as though neither Faker nor Isihun have yet to play him in the LCK, Pawn's Twisted Fate presents a huge threat to SKT's draft. As for Faker and Isihun, both have shown incredible play on Azir, putting up massive damage numbers and huge zoning ultimates. As so, you can expect Azir to be a high priority pick for SKT in the mid lane, assuming Faker's Lulu has been banned. That's gonna do it for this preview video of the finals of MSI. For more League of Legends content featuring the pros and more coverage of the mid-season invitational, be sure to check it out at lolclass.com. 